Karen Chantel Wurzbach here, and I am an ordained Christian minister. I want to talk about a quote that I wrote a couple of days ago, and it goes like this. Take it as an honor to be emulated, for then you truly know that you are doing something right for others to follow. Emulated is just a fancy word for copying. You might be having someone out there copy your work that you put your name on. People might be copying how you look, how you dress, how you talk. Anything people will copy and try to take credit for. But the older you get, realize that you shouldn't be insulted about this. You should be honored that people want to be like you. Because if people want to be like you, you're doing something right. You're doing something right to have a following. You should be happy about it. I can see where you would be mad that people are trying to steal your work and put their name on it. But they can never really put their name on your work because your work has already been done. Most of the things that we've created have actually already been done. That cookbook's already been written. That's, that dance has already been created. Quotes have been said, just changed around a little bit. And we really shouldn't be mad about it. Because they could take my quote, anyone could take my quote right here and change a few words and make it their own. That's their prerogative if somebody wants to do that. I can see where I would get mad or anyone would get mad about the work that you put a lot of time into just being stolen. But in the end, people are going to realize where that work originated from. If you have your name on it and you really did create it, have pride in it and be happy that people want to follow you. Let me repeat my quote again. Take it as an honor to be emulated, for then you truly know that you are doing something right for others to follow. There's a lot of people on social media with a lot of followers. And that's an honor to have followers. It's an honor to be doing something right for someone to follow you. I was around 30 years old, maybe a little bit older, and I started a friendship group. And it was near the Sarasota, Inglewood area. So it was on the west coast of Florida. And I got myself in the paper, the newspaper, and people flooded to my friendship group. And we had a lot of fun. We went to the movies. We went out to eat. We went dancing. We did little travel trips up to Tampa. And we went everywhere. And we had a lot of fun. But as that group went on, people started getting jealous. People started taking the group as a way to meet their match. And I never intended it to be that way. I just wanted it as a friendship group. Then I found out that I had a hand in getting a few people together. And a lot of those couples are still together today, which I'm really happy about. But there's a lot of jealousy in that group. A lot of people stabbing each other in the back and a lot of copying. When people would come into the group and they didn't get their way, they couldn't write profanity on my websites. They had an ax to grind with me. So I started getting stabbed in the back and people would start having relationships problems and they would start calling me late at night or during dinner. And after a year, a year and a half of the group, I finally decided to close it down. And some people requested that I bring the group back. They begged me to bring the group back because it did make an impact in the area. 
But I decided that that time was over for me. I needed to move on. And I found out that a lot of people that made fun of the group saying that the people in the group were socially retarded. The people in the group were weirdos. Those same people that were spreading lies and rumors and nastiness went and made their own groups. And one particular girl tried to name it almost the exact same name as the group I had. So my point is, I know what it's like to be copied. I know that feeling of anger you get when someone takes your work and puts it in their own name. You know, it took me a while to get over that. It took me a while to get over the backstabbing of that group. But I was glad that I started it. I learned a lot about people when I had that group. I had a lot of fun in that group. I did a lot of traveling and went to a lot of places I probably never would have went. And I met a lot of people I never would have met. The point of this is I know what it feels like to be copied, to be emulated. And it hurts sometimes. But as you get older and more mature, you'll realize that it's okay to be copied, to be emulated. Because you know you started that work. And people, some people don't have a mind of their own. They don't have originality. So they need to steal from others. Is it right at the end of the day? No, it isn't. But people will always do this. People will always try to put their name on your work. Just let them do it and move on because your true followers, the people that have been watching you for a while, know where that work originated. I hope I'm being clear in this video. And if you're a person that feels like you need a copy, I hope that one day you have the self-esteem to start your own business, to start your own family, to start your own friendships, your own groups, and you will feel a lot better about yourself. You will feel a lot better that you don't have to copy somebody else's work. Again, this has been Taryn Chantel Warsbach, and I am an ordained Christian minister. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.